everyone and welcome back to another one six scale custom restoration pretty much uh we got here the eric draven from hot toys and this is the completed final product of my pleather restoration and what we're going to do today is pretty much do exactly like my terminator video if you guys haven't checked that out uh, i much appreciate it i'll link it down in the comments and end cards because it's a much more extensive version to what I've done here. This is a bit more bare bones, but as you can see, the final product with the actual leather shining once again is really, really needed for this character. Just a bit of a shameless cheeky plug here. I have started an Instagram based on my channel here and I'm gonna throw a plethora of like behind the scenes pictures and videos and so forth. Uh, as well as like copyrighted music from the soundtrack from The Crow and my various other collectibles. So if you want to check that out, I'll greatly appreciate it. Also, I got my module cases and expect maybe a part one collection tour because it's only like half of them have arrived. Uh, just because the rest are slated for mid this year. So maybe expect a part one collection tour, which I'm pretty excited to show. And... Yeah, that's a pretty much it. What we're going to do here is go back in time to how I got to this end product, basically. So if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you like and sub, and we'll go back in time. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Hot Toys restoration video. Today we have the Hot Toys Eric Draven, and as you can see, it is completely deteriorated and rotted throughout the years I've had it uh, due to the pleather material. And I'm going to attempt just like my Terminator figure that I did recently. And I'm going to try and restore this one. So what I've got here is this is the exact same acrylic leather paint that I used for the Terminator custom restoration idea and if you just want to check that out i'll link that in the description and in the end cards and i'll comment down below just to check it out uh, i probably won't go as in depth with this one because again i've done it with that terminator video and over here we've got uh loose joints fix which i think i believe it's it's basically sh uh shoe varnish or floor varnish and they've just done it in a fancy bottle for you to buy so you can either find this on eBay or get some kind of varnish clear. It's the same thing essentially. And that is because this particular body from Hot Toys is completely screwed. So I have to tighten the arm joints. I, I'm going to try and do the abdominal crunch too. Because this particular figure has a really, really floppy abdominal part and as you can see this is no longer pleather this is what's underneath the pleather material and it's completely rotted so it's just the fabric now exactly mirroring my terminator custom that i've done oh yeah and also the pants the pants are the, in the same problem too that was supposed to be leathery material too so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut away pull the body apart take all the clothing that needs to come off uh, and I'll start with the leather paint. So I'll get to doing that now.
So a quick little intermission here while the coat pretty much dries. So as you can see, the pants are really, really good. They're completed. What my original plan was to do was to pull the little joints here and take the shirt off and put, and I'll grab it now, and fix the loose joints with, uh, I think it's called Kiki. It's basically a type of varnish that you put in between joints and they tighten up. The problem is though that I ran into with this particular figure, which is interesting. This is the first time I've seen this with a Hot Toys. So you're supposed to pull these gauntlets off. So like that. And as you can see here, and I'll zoom in here. So you got this, this is a hard plastic and it kind of keys into this, which is again, interesting design. But the problem is, and I'll bring the figure a bit closer up. The fabric shirt is glued on the end here. And I don't want to risk tearing this shirt off. And it's glued all the way here, which is very, very odd for a Hot Toys. So this is pretty much a complete custom body for them. And it's a bit disappointing because the abdominal crunch is a bit loose. As you can see here, everything else is pretty good. It's just this crunch that's a bit shit. But I don't want to risk tearing this shirt off and tearing the fabric and completely destroying the shirt. So I might have to ditch this idea and just hope for the best that this doesn't worsen. But yeah, that's just a quick little update. Uh, I'm skipping the, basically fixing the loose joints, which was my original plan. But now what you're gonna see after this is the complete figure with the trench coat put on because that's my preferred look of Eric Draven. And we'll get to that right now. So that's pretty much it today with this quick custom restoration on Eric Draven from The Crow by none other than Hot Toys. And yeah, I'm really, really happy this has turned out as well as my previous one, which was the Terminator restoration. Keep an eye out, obviously, on more because I have a lot of old school Hot Toys that have started to peel and rot. And hopefully they all turn out just as good as this one. Also a quick plug, I've also started an Instagram just based on my channel here and I'll link that down in the description and I'll pin it in the comments as well, so check it out. I'll probably do different videos and behind the scenes of this figure starting off. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll much appreciate it. And that's pretty much it for today. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. And I'll see you in the next one.